of the harshest realities the rabbit owners have to face is the knowledge that their pet is prey. Animals such as cats, dogs, foxes, and hawks hunt rabbits. This is especially true if these animals live off the land. If your rabbit lives on your property outdoors, you could be placing your bunny in grave danger if the necessary precautions have not been made. Because protection is so vital, building a predator-proof wooden hutch for your rabbit, complete with wire mesh and strong bolts, is essential. Any outdoor running areas should also be covered. This will prevent hawk attacks. The base of the enclosure area must also have a strong floor. This will prevent a fox from digging underneath. Topping everything off with motion-activated lights and a sprinkler system is also a wise addition as to scare away predators before they even consider making a move. While this likely seems like a daunting task, if your rabbit spends hours outdoors or lives outdoors, you have to cover all of the bases. You essentially have to build a strong house for your bunny in the same way that a strong house has been built for you. Knowing your area and the most common predators in your neighborhood is significantly important. In this video, we will detail the most common threats that rabbits face, how rabbits can naturally protect themselves, and what you can do to protect your rabbit from both general threats and specific threats. Rabbits are incredibly vulnerable, so the material featured in this video could save your pet's life. We hope you find the content helpful and informative. While it's certainly not a pleasant subtopic, it's important for all rabbit owners to know which animals eat and hunt rabbits. If you reside in North America, your rabbit has many enemies. Unfortunately, rabbits are natural prey for most of them. While most rabbits are wild and killed on the land, some predators will enter your own property and snuff out your pet if it resides outdoors. Food is food, so animals rarely distinguish between a wild rabbit and your loving pet. It's also important to note that some domestic animals hunt rabbits. Unless your neighbors are vigilant, it's not out of the realm of possibility that that friendly dog next door could potentially be a threat to your rabbit if the opportunity were to present itself. Here is a list of the most common predators your rabbit could potentially face. Let's begin with cats and dogs. Hunting both day and night, cats, and especially dogs, are quite opportunistic. Be on guard if stray dogs are common in your neighborhood. Next on the list, coyotes and wolves. Hunting at any time, these animals can be of major concern for some citizens, especially if you reside in the big sky country of the United States or other rural areas. Snakes can also pose great danger to your rabbits, especially gopher snakes and some rattlesnakes. Depending on the species, some rabbits can come under danger during both night and day. Sleeping during the day and hunting at night, foxes can pose a threat quite similar to coyotes and wolves. Rural and open areas can introduce several of these unwanted guests. Again, as noted earlier, it's important to know which predators are common in your part of the country. Some animals are a bit more concerning simply depending on where you reside. Both night hunters, raccoons and badgers can also harm your rabbit. Due to the fact that raccoons are very common across North America, it's especially important to be aware of these moonlight stalkers. Our next animal of danger is the weasel. With the ability to kill a rabbit multiple times its size, weasels are very dangerous. Weasels are nocturnal during the winter, but will emerge during the day when the weather warms up. And finally, no list is complete without birds of prey. Hawks, falcons, owls, etc. can pose a significant threat to your rabbit. The ability to attack from above should never be underestimated. This is why proper housing is critical if your rabbit resides outdoors. Birds, like most of the predators mentioned on this list, will waste no time in attacking an unprotected rabbit. While rabbits do have some defensive postures, they can't defend themselves against vicious predators. This is why it's paramount that rabbit owners keep them away from danger. Aside from their ability to dig large holes in the ground as a means of hiding, and their ability to smell and hear a predator approaching, rabbits have no true defense method short of their ability to run very fast. As a last resort, rabbits often exhibit what is known as tonic immobility. This is a practice where a rabbit will freeze in place. It's essentially a method of hiding in plain sight. 
If your rabbit lives in a hutch, the ability to run is taken off the table. This is yet another reason why protection is so vital. If your rabbit stays in a hutch, it needs to be beefed up in every possible way, both from land attacks and aerial assaults. Rabbits are some of the most vulnerable creatures around. It's sad, but true. This is why pet rabbits must be sheltered accordingly, as a direct confrontation will end in tragedy. Our next section of content involves how to protect your rabbit from specific threats. We hope these tips can serve you well. Let's begin with the fox. Tip number one, keep your rabbit indoors. While this is the most basic and certainly the most obvious, there is often more than meets the eye when it comes to this notion. There is a common misconception that suggests that rabbits must be kept outdoors or at least have access to the outdoors. This is not true. Pet rabbits can live inside the home 24-7 just fine. As long as they have food, water, toys, a space to play, and are litter trained, your pet rabbit can have a comfortable and amazing life indoors. As it relates to the subject matter, this practice will protect your rabbit from any and every predator, not just the fox. So, before you attempt to secure a rabbit hutch outdoors, ask yourself if it's possible for your rabbit to live inside. Tip number two involves securing your rabbit's hutch and making it as predator-proof as possible. This is vitally warranted if your rabbit is unable to live indoors. Because standard hutches are often designed simply so that your rabbit will be unable to escape, that form of construction will likely not prevent a predator from entering the space. While this particular section is being detailed under the fox predator subtopic, the property construction of a hutch will cover all aspects. In order to beef up your rabbit's hutch, you will need solid wood for the floor, sides, and roof. Pine is especially a good selection. Heavy-duty chain link or heavy-duty wire is also needed. Please refrain from using chicken wire, as it simply will not be suitable as a form of protection. Another step in protection involves using sturdy bolts for the doors. Basic latches often fail because some animals are wise enough to figure out how they work. Your rabbit's hutch should be at least 6 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet and raised off the ground with the support of wood. This will aid in discouraging predators. The pin or run area should be 8 feet by 4 feet by 2 feet. It should be completely covered by a chain link roof and a hardwood floor as to prevent predators from digging underneath. If you would like this information in more detail, please visit the initial link in the description box below. If you are already watching this video from rabbitcaretips.com, please scroll accordingly and select the paragraph that details how to safeguard your rabbit's living space. Our next tip, tip number three, involves making sure that your yard is unappealing to predators. Although rabbits can die out of shock and fright alone, in some rare cases, keeping physical predators away should always be your primary objective. Maintaining your yard as it relates to grass length, dirt, debris, water, and food scraps is essential. Motion detecting lights is also a smart course of action. The fox is a curious creature. If there's nothing to quote unquote check out, there's a good chance that this particular predator will pass on taking aim at your property. And finally, tip four involves never leaving your property unsupervised. This goes for shielding your property against a fox or any other predators. While it's obviously impossible to keep watch over your bunny 24-7, make it a priority to check on your rabbit every couple of hours. Even better, if your accommodations aren't adequate enough in your home for your rabbit to stay overnight, at least bring your rabbit inside during the daylight hours, if possible, of course. It's never a wise idea to allow your rabbit to roam free in your yard and explore. If you do, it's imperative that you keep an eye on them at all times, as it only takes a matter of mere seconds for something to go horribly wrong. Supervision also runs deeper than that of mere protection. If left unattended to roam free, your rabbit could escape your property. This can introduce a new assortment of issues. Protecting your rabbit from a hawk should be fairly easy if you have a sturdy and somewhat sophisticated hutch. However, there are several aspects that still require consideration. It's vital to note that hawks will not be scared by your presence. In most cases, the fact that you're outdoors and near your rabbit will serve to scare off other predators. 
However, a hawk will conduct an aerial assault right in front of you. This is why you should never allow your rabbit to run free in your yard, even if you're standing just mere feet away. This is especially true if your spot on the map is known for hawks. As we've noted many times, different geographical locations will cater to different predators. Some animals are simply more prevalent than others. As it relates to a potential hawk attack, it's essential that your rabbit's hutch has a roof over the entire complex. If hawks are an issue, then letting your rabbit out of its enclosure is completely off limits. This is why proper roofing is a must for all areas of the enclosure. Think of it as a full house for your rabbit, a place to eat, sleep, and play, and a place that is complete with a solid roof. If you're searching for preventative measures that go beyond safeguarding your rabbit's hutch, please consider CDs. Yes, that's correct, compact discs. Hawks hunt from above, and shiny and reflective objects will make them disoriented. The reflection is not pleasant to their vision. Hanging unwanted CDs in various areas of your yard can serve as a reflection field. If a hawk is confused and distracted and disoriented, it will be less likely to land in that given location. Whether it be a stray dog, a wild dog, or the dog next door, dogs are natural predators, not too much unlike a wolf or coyote. In order to protect your rabbit from an attack, the core line of defense involves fencing. Erecting a high perimeter fence made from solid wood can prove to be invaluable. As a general rule, six to seven feet should be high enough to keep most dogs at bay. In an effort to secure the bottom and prevent a dog from digging, Bury chicken wire under the base portions of the fence. As it relates directly to your yard itself, you can always throw off a dog's scent by spraying undiluted vinegar around the inside perimeter and near your rabbit's hutch. Most dogs will turn away at the foul smell. If protection is needed from your very own dog, just act responsibly. Never allow your dog to roam your yard alone. Keep them on a leash and away from your rabbit's housing area. Ideally, it's best to keep your dog and rabbit separated at all times, even if and when your rabbit is inside of your home. Having both as pets is fine, but the responsibility is great, as your rabbit will be in grave danger without your protection. Teaching your dog commands to leave and heal can potentially foil an attack. Dogs will avoid an area if they are properly trained, especially if they're aware of the negative consequences for their actions. If you've ever been around a cat for just 30 seconds, you'll know one thing right off the bat. They are easily distracted by anything that moves. From bugs to lizards to snakes or a simple leaf on the ground, if it moves, a cat will stare, stalk, and hunt. Cats are hardwired in this fashion. Cats not only hunt for food, but also for sport. This means that a cat with its belly full could just as well go after a rabbit simply for the enjoyment of the hunt. While some cats have been known to get along with rabbits, this is certainly the exception rather than the rule. Getting a pet rabbit if you already have a cat can be a recipe for disaster and vice versa. As it relates to protecting your rabbit from stray cats or merely the cat next door, we offer these solutions. Cat proof fencing. This involves fencing with rollers at the top. Once a cat reaches the top, the rollers will spin on contact. This will likely foil any chance a cat will have of gaining access to your yard. Fencing with sharp spikes is also an option, but use caution with this line of defense. The last thing you want to do is critically injure a neighborhood cat. The ultimate goal is protection without harm. This is especially true when it comes to common domestic dogs and cats. The next way to protect your rabbit from a cat involves potent scents, citrus, lemon, and orange to be exact. Cats hate these smells. Ultrasonic cat alarms is also an option. The high frequency will send most cats running. Our next protection tip involves motion-activated sprinklers. Cats and water rarely mix. Cats can tolerate it, but it's certainly not a picnic. Once a curious cat gets sprayed in the face a few times, it'll think twice before entering your property. And finally, cat-proof rabbit cages. This harkens back to the predator-proof hutches noted in this video. If you feel you'll be unable to spot a cat and keep it from entering your yard, make sure your rabbit's hutch is cat-proof in every possible way.
And on that note, that will conclude things for this video. If you enjoyed this content and would love to view similar material in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us on site from rabbitcaretips.com or viewing us directly from our YouTube platform, please subscribe and join us as we navigate the most important topics that you're concerned about in the world of rabbit ownership and potential ownership. Question time. Have you ever dealt with a predator attacking or attempting to attack your rabbit? Have you had too many near misses to count? If this subject matter directly ties into a past experience, please share your story in the comment section below. Do you have some tricks of the trade when it comes to building hutches? If you can answer yes to that question, you're welcome to drop a line too. Whether your input involves protection tips, near misses, or hutch construction, any positive input is welcome. Anything you have to offer that can serve to help current rabbit owners who are going through a similar issue related to this particular subject matter is certainly welcome. Please add to the conversation. There is indeed strength in numbers. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best when it comes to safeguarding your rabbit's living space, and we hope you have a wonderful day.